assalamu alaikum this is me dr saifullah in today's video i will show you that how we can break down risk into two components namely systematic risk and unsystematic risk and we will also explain that why it is so important to classify risk into two components and how we can measure systematic and unsystematic risk the risk is simply the uncertainty associated with the returns in finance it is believed that you can earn high return by taking high risk and we can measure risk by using the variance and the standard deviation both these measures variance and standard deviations measures total risk in a previous video we have computed the risk and return on individual securities as well as computed their portfolios and we have concluded that we can improve the risk return trade off by making portfolios the link of the video is shown in the upper right corner of your screen as well as given in the description of this video henry markowitz introduced portfolio theory in 1950s that contends that we can minimize the portfolio risk by including diversified assets in the portfolio the capm extended this theory and claimed that in efficient portfolios the unsystematic risk will be minimized due to the inclusion of diversified assets in the portfolio and only the relevant risk will be systematic risk that cannot be diversified so the risk has two components the one that can be diversified and known as systematic risk and the other is unsystematic risk that cannot be diversified so if we have efficient securities we need to consider only the unsystematic risk that cannot be diversified the systematic risk is simply the co movement of the security with the market and it can be measured by using the beta coefficient that is a standardized measure of systematic risk based upon an assets covariance with the market portfolios a stock with a beta of 1.20 has a level of systematic risk that is 20% greater than the average of the entire market while a stock with a beta of 0.70 is 30% less riskier than the market by definition the market portfolio itself will always be one now i am moving to microsoft excel to show you that how we can compute systematic and unsystematic risk of the securities we have share prices of five companies namely nishadmi limited mizan bank limited the resource group thal limited and icai and we have computed the return of these companies for returns we have to use the formula for ending value divided by beginning value minus 1 and we have also index values ps100 index that is used as a proxy of the stock market returns in the pakistan firstly we will compute total risk of these companies and for total risk we will use variance and standard deviation and we will use the same function that we have already used in previous videos for variance equal to var dot p bracket start and select the all return values of nishat mein simple bracket close and enter so our variance is 1.161 i will copy this formula in the next cells to compute the variance of all companies next we will compute standard deviation and that is simply the square root of the variance equal to sqrt that is square root function in microsoft excel and enter so the our standard deviation is 10.7 let me convert into percentage form and so the standard deviation is 10.78% i will copy this formula in the next cells to compute the standard deviation of other companies so the standard deviation of the market is 6.48% and maximum standard deviation is for trg that is 20.12% next we will compute the covariance of the company with the market for covariance equal to covariance dot p bracket start and value of nishat mills limited comma and value of 100 index and with 100 index i will pass f4 to lock these values as i will copy this formula into mizan trg thal and icai limited 
but I want to lock the value of 100 index and bracket close enter so our covariance is computed and I will copy this formula in the next cells to compute the covariance of other companies for ICI it is 0 0.03 and for TRG it is 0 0.078 and there is no negative values of the covariance with the market. In the next step we will compute beta coefficient. Beta can be computed by using two ways by using formula and the formula to compute beta coefficient is equal to beta is covariance of return companies return into market divided by variance of the market. We have already computed the covariance between company and market and we have also computed the variance of the market. So we can easily compute beta coefficient by using Microsoft Excel that is equal to covariance of the company with the market divided by variance of the market and again I will press F4 to lock this cell and enter so beta is uh, computed for NML I will copy this formula into next companies and the beta of all companies will be computed to compute beta by using Microsoft Excel function I will use slope function and that will is equal to slope bracket start non y values and x values for y values I will select the values of the companies and comma and for non x values I will select the index values and again with index values I will press F4 to lock these values and press enter this is in percentage form we need to convert into numbers form and that is 1.20 and I will copy this formula into next cells and the beta of by using slow function will be computed so according to beta the highest beta is for TRG that is 1.87 and the minimum beta is 0.77 that is for Mizan Bank Limited 1.87 means the TRG is 0.87 riskier than the market and the beta of the Mizan shows that it is less riskier than the market next we will use compute systematic risk that is simply beta square into variance of the market so equal to bracket start beta square multiply by variance of the market and again with the variance of market I will press F4 to lock this cell enter and copy this formula into next cells to compute systematic risk of the companies so according to this the highest systematic risk is for the TRG the resource group that is 1.48 percent and the minimum is for Mizan Bank that is 0.25 percent and to compute unsystematic risk the unsystematic risk is simply the difference between total risk and the systematic risk we have already computed the total risk as well as systematic risk so we will compute the difference of total risk and systematic risk and the unsystematic risk will be computed so equal to variance that is total risk minus unsystematic risk and copy this formula into next cells so our variance of unsystematic risk will be computed and I will use square root function to convert it to into standard deviation and that is 7.47% for NML and copy this formula into next cells so our unsystematic is for our companies will be computed that's all for today's videos if you have any questions you can contact me through whatsapp through facebook or through the comment section of this video thank you Take care. Allah Hafiz.